Yes, but we're, we're going to go and have a chat with uh, with Sam now, and then afterwards we might come back and just talk a wee bit more about Mr. Tyndall. Sam, how's your life in the luxury boating world? Yes, good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, living the dream at this stage. Um, sea Legs, one of the stars of the Auckland International Boat Show. And very soon, I'm going to have a crack at landing it up on the on the berth up there, but uh, not before the weather. Um, showers around at the moment, but have a look at this. Uh, Invercargill, it is expected to clear there today, which is good news, while Alexandra, Queenstown and Oamaru have a fine but frosty start before... Wellington is fine today. Showers should clear in the Kapiti Coast to Palmerston North this morning and this afternoon in Whanganui and New Plymouth. The East Coast is in for a treat. Fine head to set. So you're in charge of the microphone. And here we go. All right, just push in there. So there's a the joystick. <laughs> I feel a bit nervous. Is there it going to hit the wolf? There we go! <laughs> and, whoa, hey, hey, go. Yeah. Fantastic. And off the front a little bit here. And beautiful right there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Safely. Oh, on, on the wharf. Is it a wharf or a dock? Or? <laughs> it is a wharf now. It's a... Good on you. Done, Sam, we didn't crash. <laughs> Sam, that's brilliant. Now, can you, go and, can you land the $5.7 million yacht as well? Then I'll be truly impressed. Um, those sea legs what, are what amazing. Sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, we want you to go and drive the $5.7 million yacht now and see if you can get away with it quite as well. No, good effort, mate. Good effort. No chance. They didn't even let me use the barbecue. Oh, I'm not surprised after that terminology, Sam. But you are a better driver than you are with the uh, yachting work. We'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about having a six Thank million so dollar much. yacht. You don't want to get it dirty, so you don't even use the barbecue <laughs> and that sort of thing. Hey, um, that's cool. Uh, those sea legs are amazing. You see them all over various islands and uh, beaches all over New Zealand now because obviously you can just drive them up the road to your, to your house and you don't have to live on the beach anymore to have your boat outside the front door. Now, I just want to talk about this Tyndall thing. Now, we don't... Against Australia. Tanya, who have you got your money on for tonight's match? Oh, I couldn't possibly say. Not too sure? No, it's... A diplomatic, I suppose. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, this is a New Zealand traditional boat building skill. Tell us about what you guys do here. The plan is it brings an opportunity for families to actually come together and build a boat in a three-day period. So we're offering um, people the opportunity to do something um, off a screen and um, work together as a team. I really like it. Effectively what happens is you get a kit set, you can come and get together with your family and you can build your own boat. You get something tangible. I think that's a, a fantastic idea. And we're going to do something along the lines of that this morning. What these guys have got, this is Max and Robert. Now you, you've got some tin foil, don't you? Yep. And what is your mission? Um, to build a boat. That's right. Now you've got a little bit of competition. We've got the Sea Legs team here as well. We've got Mary and we've got Ted. What are you guys going to be building with your tin foil? We're going to go for amphibious. We're going to have to put some wheels on it. <laughs> I think you will indeed. Can you do? <laughs> and of course, um, Ellen and Karen from this morning um, and your boat, the bucket list. What are you guys building? Something. We might have to have two hulls. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will indeed. And we're going to see how these guys go at building boats and making them float. Tony, Gordon. Yes, well that done, is Sam. the key, Sam, making them float. One thing, building them, but will they float? <laughs> I don't know if we should back you after your um, little experience this morning. <laughs> well, at least you parked the boat. I know that's not the right term, but I was quite impressed. I thought that wharf was going to take a bit of a bit of a hammering from the sea legs. Yes, we will see shortly. Thanks, Sam. Right before to go to now, what was his new name? Sailor Sam. Sailor Sam. Hello. <laughs> it will stick. Yeah, g'day, morning, morning, guys. Um, yeah, it's all good. We're down at the Auckland International Boat Show. And as you can see, well, it's a, we've got sunshine at the moment, but the jacket's on, the jacket's off. Um, very showery. Um, the good news is, um, let's have a look at the regions. Um, Invercargill is, uh, it should clear up a little bit there. This I said at the Auckland International Boat Show. Now, we've got a little boat building competition. Robin and Max, you've got 10 seconds to sell your boat. Go for it. Um, it's a bathtub. <laughs> okay, that's not a great job of selling it, but let's hope it, hope it works. Um, over to our bucket list people. Well, we have um, attempted to make a boat in keeping with bucket list, so it's got two hulls. The special feature of this boat is that it will convert to two canoes quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Karen. And our sea legs people. Mary, um, 
This is a version of our uh, aluminium hull, of course, aluminium foil. And um, what we would like to say about it or sell to you is that it moves very easily from uh, sea to land and land to sea. So this could also double up as a very nice roasting dish for your <laughs> leg of lamb. Indeed it will. Uh, Tony Rawdon, it's up to you guys to decide the winner of this competition. So put them in the water. Let's see. And move out of the way once you've done it. Oh, sea legs. Sea legs is looking fantastic there. Uh, bucket list. Um, oh, I, oh. I'm going to put it in your hands, guys, but um, oh. sea legs is looking very good and actually making progress. Right, well, what do Sam, you think? Sam, you've put it in our hands while saying sea legs looks great, <laughs> making progress. So I think you've made the decision. Yeah. I feel sorry for the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you bathtub, bathtub wins. <laughs> <laughs> bathtub stuff. Look at that. Bathtub wins. They've uh, done as the tra the the problem is these guys are from the traditional boat building skill. They're used to using wood. <laughs> Fair enough. I think it's pretty clear. Sea legs is the winner. Well yeah. done, sea legs. Thanks, Sam. Well done, sea legs. <laughs> yeah, well done, guys. That's great. Thank you for that, Sam. Yes, and that's down at the boat show on the Auckland uh, waterfront. Uh, we're going to have a look at some of.